When Ed and I arrived over 40 years ago, this mansion was already chock full of baggage. And I mean the bad kind that people don't talk about. And heirlooms, too. Even before I realized that one had a lot to do with the other, I never threw anything out. I had my heart for it. All the little things people left behind were a part of the house. Part of the haunting, too. But I don't scare easy. With 13 cats and maybe a dozen ghosts, I've only got so much attention to go around. <laughs> to, to be honest, the cats cause me more trouble than the ghosts. Recently, I've been thinking of organizing the upstairs better. Doing up the old rooms a little for them. Let them know they're not forgotten. The ghosts, not the cats. All those empty rooms and sheets over everything. It's as if someone died. Well, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'd start out with that big old standing mirror in the attic, which I do believe belonged to Joanna DeVore. You know, one time, I caught a glimpse of Ed in it, like he used to be all done up in his Sunday best. I hardly felt surprised, but like a damn fool, I blinked. And he was gone. <laughs> 